What's going on you awesome creatives and future architects? In today's lesson, we're going to be jumping into Photoshop and doing up a streetscape diagram. So this is something I've just done up quickly in AutoCAD, um, taken from a couple of reference images from around the web. And so basically I'll give you guys a quick run down here. We've obviously got a building down into the left hand side with an entrance over here. Um, coming over we've then got a footpath uh, with a planner box and then we've got some roads. Um, probably some parking in this 3200, the actual road, um, and road island in the centre, and again mirroring on the other side we've then got another road, parking space, um, parking bicycle, uh, planter box for park, um, and another planter box or seating area coming down into kind of a creek little area. Um, so that is our kind of image that we're going to be using today. Um, as you can kind of see down at the bottom of the screen we've kind of got some, some colours already drawn out. So basically, if we don't have this already drawn on, maybe you're starting from scratch, it'd be as simple as grabbing your marquee tool by hitting M, uh, grabbing your marquee, so kind of doing this, grabbing G for your paint bucket, grab a colour, and paint in the colour, right? Simple as, uh, but to keep this short, I've kind of just done, I've just kind of done it up in AutoCAD with some line weights, uh, just so I can start just plugging away as quickly as possible. So as you can see we've got a few layers over on the right hand side, we've got colours, line work and background. I'm just going to throw these all down into their own folder. Alright, there we go, they're all in their own folder. Um, and what I'm going to do is duplicate by in command J uh, this line work. So that is all the line works from my own pad. So I can just pop that out of the layer and now I can use that to work on. Right, so let's kind of jump into this now. Um, so I'm just going to start by colouring um, really quickly all of these, right? So I've got my line work on and I'm just going to hit G and I'm going to start with these here. I'll go rasterize that layer first, right? And now I should be able to start colouring. Right, so for our roads, we're going to go this dark colour, bang bang, pretty easily. Um, footpaths then, we're going to go this next colour and then we're going to kind of, this is going to be our ground layer down in here. Um, so let's go for this one, let's go that, and that there. Alright, so pretty simple so far. Um, let's grab a grey kind of colour, grey white, and let's just colour in these little floodway areas as well. Oop, one, and maybe a lighter grey just for this here. Right, so pretty basic so far, right? Alright, so we got everything sorted with our colours and whatnot. So now this is where we can kind of really start pulling it together and doing some really cool things. So I'm going to grab a new layer. Oh, we've already got one here, so let's use the layer one here. And this is where we can start to jump into our brushes and our brush presets. So I've got quite a few different brushes here that I use rather regularly. Um, let me open up our preset manager. So I've got some plan trees here, some sections, some others including arrows, perforated screen, silhouettes of people, and some grass. Uh, these have been sourced from around the web and created by myself. Um, if you guys are interested in kind of grabbing these, um, I am looking at doing up some custom brushes uh, for you guys and I'll probably release those around a thousand stuff. But if you guys are after that, make sure you comment down below and I'll, I'll see if I can get these to you. Right, um, okay, so let's start with the big ticket items straight away. Uh, let's start with some trees and we want some big foliage ones. Now I'm just going to keep this pretty grayscale. Um, obviously it's up to you how you kind of want to do it. Um, and now I'm just playing with the left and right bracket keys to kind of change the size of the brush there. And I'm also hitting my num, um, numpad in order to chime, kind of change the opacity. So as you can see, I've changed it down to 50% opacity and just throwing these back. And this is just to give it a little bit of depth. Right, so you can kind of see that there's a row of trees there. Next thing up, let's grab a few little trees. I know I've got bamboo or something in here somewhere. Yeah, that one I'll do. Alright, and again I'm just tracking this down. And 
fine with the opacities as well. So pretty basic steps here guys, make sure you get your trees down from wherever you want to get them from, uh, from the web, and then it's just a matter of kind of planning out your streetscape and how you want it to look. Alright, so now we've got that, uh, let's throw in some grass kind of textures now, and down here I've got some grass, so we might go down in this little creek system, we might go some of these. And make sure you give it a bit of variety as well. Right, it's gonna look a little bit better. I'm just gonna add in a couple of trees coming up in here. And now I'm just gonna grab our lasso tool and kind of just cut that off. Easy enough. So there's our grass done. Right, and we might put some grass over here on the footpath as well. So there's, there's your kind of grasses and whatnot. So next up, let's grab perforated screens, right? Uh, let's use, which one? Let's use this one. Kind of has a bit of relationship to the trees with a bit of a leafy kind of look. Uh, I'm gonna throw these up on a new layer. And what I can do is just click, click. Ooh, let's not do that. Sorry guys, I was holding the chip there. Now I can hit command T, transform that and kind of lock that into place. Right, and that's just as simple as kind of duplicating that each and then I'll make the layers afterwards. So now we can kind of merge all of those and drop down our opacity. Alright, so next up, we've got our trees, we've got our path red screen. Let's start putting in our cars and people. Um, so let's start with our people. And so now we've kind of got our streetscape happening. Let's throw a Gorgon Blur over the top and just see how that comes out. Uh, blur, Gorgon Blur. Okay, cool, hit OK on that. Right, so pretty basic. Right, now our next kind of step is obviously we want some parked cars in here and some moving cars. Now, I don't have these as part of my brush preset. Right, so what we can do is we can grab our Safari, Chrome, whatever we're using, new window, and let's just do car silhouette. Go to our images and find one that we kind of like. So I'm going to my front. Well, I'm happy with that one for a back, right? It's pretty generic, pretty boring to feel like it. Is open up a new document in Photoshop. And we're going to hit 500 by 500 pixels. Right, go create. Pretty easy. And now we're going to grab that kind of car, that suburban that we just had, and throw it in there, right? So now we've got that. And we can go up into edit, define brush preset. We can call this car back. All right, so that's that one done. And now we can go out our streetscape, and now we've got our car. And we can just reduce the size of that slightly. Just throw a new layer. And now we've got our car happening. All right, so I always kind of distort it slightly. Go back over into our 500 now. We drag and drop that in and hold down Alt and scale that up and just kind of align our back slightly. Right, and again, same thing we can do just go image, uh, edit, sorry, and define brush preset and car uh, back, whatever, car front. And reduce the size down slightly and throw our car in. Alright, 
right. And that's pretty much it, guys. Pretty bloody easy. So that's going to be Streetscape. Now, of course, I've got these dimensions in here, so if I want to, I can kind of come along as well. And, oops, make that up. And I can start to put in some logos here. So, I can go, alright, these cars are travelling that way. So, I'm going to do these in white so they stand off. And this car is travelling. Make sure that we're kind of matching up the same size. That way, uh, maybe we've got a bike dude, bike lane. And a bike lane. And perhaps this is parking as well, like I said. So, we're parking as well either. And that will probably do it. Um, obviously we can kind of grab another another thing for our footpaths or something in here and you know put maybe some a logo of people walking or something but it's pretty bloody basic guys so I'm gonna wrap it up there um, if you guys got something out of this uh, make sure you leave a comment or something um, comment or a like and I will see you guys on the next video anyway guys I'm gonna wrap it up there um, if you guys got something out of this, make sure you leave a comment or a like down below. Uh, tell me what your thoughts are. Tell me if you guys want some improvements or if you want to see more of it. I'm thinking about designing up a building with this kind of perforated screen on the front. I think it'd be really, really kind of interesting and cool um, as a medium kind of density development. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap that up there. Have an awesome week and I'll see you guys on the next video. Later.